Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Mendelson. I'm a clinical psychologist in supervised practice. I primarily specialize in working with LGBTQ folk, uh, adolescents and adults, often working on gender and sexuality. So what is too much sex? I feel like it really depends on each person. Um, again, I think with sex, if you're thinking in terms of if it causes a significant distress or impairment in functioning, that might be for you too much sex. I think for each person we all have different sex drives, libidos, desires, and for some people they might have sex every day, some people just once a week, once a month, or never. I think it all depends. So again, like if let's say you're having so much sex that it's negatively affecting your job, and so it's an impairment in your functioning of your job, like it's hindering it. So if you're having sex to the point where it's getting in the way of your personal relationships, your romantic relationships, friendships, if it's really something that's just all encompassing in your mind and causing distress, then that might be too much sex for you. There is a difference between having too much sex and being a sex addict. I think with a sex addict that is more of like an addiction or a compulsion and it could be all time consuming. I think with too much sex you could be having a lot of sex but it's not always on your mind, it's not always the hunt, it might be that just given the circumstances, you just happen to be having a lot of sex. I think with a sex addict, it could be very kind of comparable to a drinking problem or a gambling problem, where it's something that's always on your mind, it's always consuming, it's the next hit, the next trick, the next person that you're going to be intimate with. Like kind of the bigger picture too is that, again, there's a lot of shame that people have about sex, and especially in the queer world, and so sometimes people might be thinking they're having too much sex, but they're not necessarily. Really, it's subjective, the idea of what is too much sex, and that's why I think a big threshold is if it's causing impairment or really significantly impacting your job, your friends, your romantic relationships, but if it isn't, I would question who is it hurting necessarily, and is it hurting anybody? For some people, they just have more sex than others. I mean, they have different like treatments. You know, you can go to therapy. You could really, I mean, they have support groups. Sometimes it doesn't work out great because it's a bunch of people in a room. But I mean, it could be actually a great experience too if it's a <laughs> controlled group. I think there's a lot of shame and stigma behind going to a mental health professional. But I think that it's such a gift to be able to go to that. And I think that there should be no reason to what to go and explore it with a professional. The idea of having too much sex, it's really, like I said, important to just reflect of whether it really is impacting your life or if it's something else behind sex in itself, if that's an issue for you. Before you guys go, I just want to give a shout out to a website that I created called Hemorose.tv. It's basically like a sexual playground for men who have sex with men. And each week we upload a different video that helps you take your sex and sexuality to the next level. And then we discuss it later in the week through a virtual classroom. It's a lot of fun. It's amazing. I'm super passionate about it. It's kind of like, it's like porn, but better. So I hope to see you there. It is himros.tv.